Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do something today which is gonna be a lot of fun. For those of you who have not seen my November energy report, you're gonna wanna watch that even before you see the individual sun sign breakouts. And the reason why is it goes into a really in-depth detail of how we're telling ourselves new spiritual stories and how we're moving into a new period where we're actually gonna start creating new earth based on this new spiritual story. But we're in the midst of it, and that is one of the reasons why I really wanted to put forth uh, these individualized sun sign videos. I'm not typically uh, focused on astrology, although I'm getting much more interested and I may end up doing more astrology in the future. But what I'm gonna do here is um, you're gonna find this video probably in two places. You're either watching this on What on New Earth or you're watching it on Intuit Oracle. I felt that these videos were, you know, perfect for both audiences because I am gonna be using Intuit Oracle um, cards and that is the official sponsor of What on New Earth. It happens to also be um, my business with Kimberly Aria and uh, I absolutely love reading cards, so I'm putting it together with this newfound love of astrology. And I mentioned in the other video that there's an app called Serious Joy, that's S-I-R-I-U-S, Joy, that a lot of the information I'm bringing forth is based on. The lead astrologer, an amazing, he calls himself Sensei, and I think that's the perfect title for him. Christopher Wateki. You're gonna wanna check out his uh, app because I cannot even begin to tell you what an impact it has made on my spiritual journey, and I've been doing this a long time. Quick, quick, quick change. So, I'm so excited about it. So what I'm gonna do is this is the same introduction that's gonna be on each sun side video. So if you're watching a second for your, for your rising sign or your ascendant, and I highly recommend that you check all three because all three are going to be extremely important for you. But if you are, you're gonna have already seen this beginning, so you're just gonna wanna spin on through and go right to the meat of it. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, I sure hope you'll stick around. We'll be right back. Still and silent, calm before the storm. Gold and diamonds, jewels behind the throne. Into the night, out of the dark, take to the sky, chasing the stars. All that we said. Welcome back, my Cancer friends. It is time for your astrological and oracle card reading. Um, got some notes here. I wanna talk a little bit about your spiritual story that you have been kind of working with and then where you're gonna be going You know, in the new um, energies. So let's go ahead and first we're gonna take a look at some of that. Um, first of all, you're going to be working on how you nurture yourself, all right? So this is how you love yourself first, loving yourself first, putting yourself first, and then from there, drawing boundaries on everything else you love. It doesn't matter what it is that you love, whether it's a person, place, thing, career, um, could be your favorite dessert, whatever it is. Um, you know, how to love yourself first, and this is going to be transforming you in the areas of art, children, parenting, and things of that nature. Uh, you are going to be establishing new rules for your heart. 
And because of Mars in this transit, there will be some impatience and that is at least going to give you some more abilities to cut cords with things um, that you might otherwise hang on to. So there may have been love that has hurt you. There may be a one-sided love. This is where you are saying, you know what? I want a new place in society. I want to play by new rules. Um, that means new friendships, new neighborhoods. And I have a friend that's just moving. I love that. She's a cancer. Um, and you're going to be expanding into higher places in society. So along with expanding in this area, the beliefs about yourself, your life's purpose, your legacy, all of that is going to expand up into higher vibrations. So whatever you've been holding on to, an old story, um, an old program around your life's purpose, that's going to change now. So you need to let that go for your new purpose. So this old purpose has been driving you since about 2012, which I think that's very interesting, 2012. Um, more responsibilities um, are necessary for your boundaries. And this is for your ability to commit to yourself in terms of your self-trust. When you do this, your life transforms. So you are going to make a commitment to better decision-making policies, and this is all gonna be based on your feelings. You're going to learn to trust yourself better. You're being asked right now to be flexible and open with relationships, okay? Maybe have some new relationship rules. Partnership, um, the partnership model for you is now changing, interesting. Um, Long-time relationships are gonna be changing and um, your love and romance policy is gonna be changing. So this is fascinating stuff. You're gonna be more um, open to relationship changes. So um, let's look, the 19th is the lunar, uh, the lunar eclipse, and it's a full moon lunar eclipse. And um, you're gonna have a new goal for love or a big project. So something you're dreaming of will be retired. Something that you thought you always wanted to do you may be retiring. However, with this new push, you're gonna have a lot more social success. And, um, and also, as we moved into the sun moving into Sagittarius, you're going to have um, a little bit more focus on your health and your day-to-day -day life. So that's the stuff that's gonna be rewritten once we get into, um, you know, further into the month of November, late November, early December, um, your fears, basically, you need to let go of fears so that you can manifest new faith. And uh, my notes here say your North, your North Node, um, the North Node in Gemini means a self-love is going to lead to new kinds of faith. So the key to dissolving any fears around that is going to, and that's gonna create a better quality of life for you, is to believe in yourself and your new life's purpose. So Cancer, that's the astrological aspects that, um, that I've kind of pulled together from, I think I've already mentioned in the very beginning when we were talking about serious joy, this information that I got is from Serious Joy. If you are interested in, in looking at this kind of a spiritual narrative, you'll want to check out that app because it's fantastic. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we are going to take a look at the cards. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull uh, one of the shamanic healing cards. We're going to look at what is it that cancer needs to heal during this Gosh, it really is a new shift in purpose in life. Um, you know, what is some of the stuff that no, still needs to be healed as we move? You know, it's the next couple of months going to start to solidify this new purpose for you. So let's take a look at what on earth, tricky bear, um, what on earth you need to heal and movement into balance. All right, I'm going to take a look at. I love my little handy dandy book for this deck. Um, movement into balance. This is, oh my, is this a number one card? 
I think it is. Yes, it is. We are at the number one card. All right. Um, let's, first of all, I want to take, I want to show you this card. Look at that. It's got the moon and the star. Perfect balance. Love it. And you got that three, uh, the three spirals, which I kind of think of as, you know, like feminine, masculine, and the one, like the trinity. All right. The sun balances the moon just as the earth, the water, and the sky remain in precious balance. So you are moving from unbalanced ideas and lifestyles into a more balanced way of being. Isn't that interesting? Because we are talking about lifestyles as you start to get to identify your, you know, yourself more in Sagittarius. Like when you move, the sun moves into Sagittarius. A situation may call for some tweaking to adjust it into a balanced, balanced mode. And I would say this probably has to do around um, self-love and boundaries. Um, look at the energy and emotions you're putting out into the universe, your world, your relationship, your goals. Balance that with the energy you're allowing yourself to receive. The body, the body inherently tries to maintain a state of balance. So, so do our souls. So if you are not receiving enough, you may be unconsciously giving more to restore a perceived balanced state. Step out of that automatic response and listen to your guides and your souls for what the situation truly warrants. And this goes right along with the whole boundaries issue um, that we're dealing with. That's what Scorpio is all about. And that's the season that we're in right now. Now, this is a timeless reading, so if you check this later, you'll just know that this was a period of time when you started drawing boundaries that brought you into this balance. Um, so that's the first card. Now, we're also gonna take a look at the Surrender, uh, at Surrender, Power of Surrender deck. Um, gonna just see what we get here. What is it that Cancer needs to surrender at this time? Okay, I got two different cards. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. All right. And also surrender to the beauty of the natural world. All right, let's look at surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. So you're going to tune into your body to feel how you feel in certain situations. And we were talking about that um tuning into yourself okay a new way about feeling everything in your life um and this is how we do boundaries as we we tune in to how it feels if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you're energized and happy move forward if you're feeling drained and uncomfortable more than likely that's saying that that person is like needs to be maybe put at a distance, put outside your boundaries. Um, so, and it could not, it's not just for people. It could be anything. It could be a food, you know, it could be a, a career. It could be just a decision on whether to go to in the movies or not. So you want to listen to the wisdom of your body and then surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And that is all an element of self-care. And I think as we learn anything about moving into new spiritual vibrations is that the care of our soul has got to be at the top of the list because if we don't care for our soul and tune in to what our physical needs are, what our spiritual needs are, what our emotional needs are. If we don't uh, tune into that, then um, you know we 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 end up making decisions that aren't always in our highest good, and they won't live in alignment with where we're headed. All right, so now we're gonna look at the life purpose cards. Let's take a look at what this deck is saying in terms of life purpose. Because this is an area that it looks like you're going to really be working on is a new spiritual mission. Or I want to say it's more of an upgrade of spiritual mission. It's like you've been doing, you've been doing what you're called to do. Some of you, some of you might be like, I haven't been doing what I'm called to do. And that, you know, but a lot of you have been. If you're watching this video, a lot of you have been. Um, but you're going to take it up a notch. 
Oh, interesting. Environmentalist. Now, I want to say it doesn't mean you're going to go out and, and, you know, fight for the trees or whatever, although you might. Um, but you're an earth angel who's born to protect, nurture, teach about nature and animals. Um, the cancer is very um, grounded energy. Um, and look at we've got with the surrender of the beauty of nature. So the earth and your closeness with earth is going to be a really important um purpose of what what you're doing here in other words getting in the rhythm this is what i'm getting is getting in the rhythm of the natural way of being like nature aligning yourself with the seasons aligning yourself with that kind of energy is going to be the best for you all right so let's take a look what else does spirit have for um for cancer for this for this big transit Man, I just I cannot stress enough how important this transit is. Um, it is it is the end of an old spiritual era and the beginning of a new one. And we cannot go into new earth until everyone has kind of made that shift that's gonna make that shift. Um like I said in my November report, if you haven't seen that, you really should. Um what I say in that is, you know, if people are doubling down and staying the same when really we were supposed to ascend and change, they're going to really be getting their asses kicked. And I know that that's not you, because if you were, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? All right, let's see. What else does Spirit have for uh, Cancer and in the Intuit Oracle? I love this deck. All right. All right, let's see. All right, well, the first thing that comes out to me is the stepping stones, okay? So we're in a process of creating this new thing. And the most important thing for you to know is that you need to just keep going step by step. This is your way out of any kind of confusion or any kind of dissatisfaction in your life and any kind of unhappiness. Um, you may for a long time have felt a little bit like the island, okay? You might have felt a little bit um, estranged. You might have felt a little bit like you were protecting yourself from, I don't know, I, it's just isolation, like keeping yourself. Well, cancer's got that protective nature anyways, that exterior that kind of acts as that protection shield. So, um, you know, you've been in a process of that, but the geese tells us that we're on our way to somewhere else. Sorry about that. Um, so we're relocating. And I know some of you, isn't that interesting? Because one of the things that came up is that, you know, you're, you may be moving your home. You may be moving your career. You may be, you know, you're relocating. You're migrating, right? And, and so... Um, you know, that you, what I'm getting is, is that baby steps out of being an island, right? Being by yourself, being an island, kind of keeping to yourself more and you're migrating kind of to a new place. Um, let me see here. The other thing that came up is the cross. So we're looking at a higher spiritual, um, you know, a higher spiritual move. We may be suffering some emotional loss if we were um, separating from an old spiritual story about relationship, um, about the definitions of relationship. Remember, you're getting new, new relationships coming in. So maybe there is some emotional loss there around, you know, all the effort put in and maybe something that didn't go anywhere. Um, but... You know, it, it could also be, you know, just need, needing to move past that old way of looking at the situation and moving into, we've got the child, new beginnings for that situation. So, um, you know, you're going to go probably to a more carefree place. You're going to definitely go to new perspectives. It's new perspectives that actually helps you uh, move into the new spiritual story as you get higher perspectives. Um, <clears throat> and we've got the elephant here, which which is wise um, energy. It's uh, it's supported. 
it's um it's it's very it's it is very powerful very um etheric um like like the words lucid dreams and gentle you know this is this is some of the energies and and look at the obstacles removed so whatever's been in place that's kept you in this old spiritual story is being removed and it looks like there's going to be more communication like you're probably going to start to communicate more you know and and i want to say this isn't just about talking to if it was a bridge it'd be more about communicating this is more about um making contact this is uh actually discussing and debating and negotiating so i have a feeling that this has a lot more to do with coming out of this solo remember we're migrating to somewhere new so i guess we could throw that geese card in there as well you know smart migrating to somewhere new from being an island to being a little bit more communicative um and, it, and because we're talking about um discussing debating things of that nature you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put this card the central card here i feel definitely is the stepping stones you know you just need to keep going step by step by step um and it's gonna lead you to where you need to go to your new beginnings um I, and i want to say these two cards go together because we're talking about the island being the isolation and then the birds being a little bit more communicative um, and I think I'll go ahead and say that with the process of arrival, we are literally migrating to new beginnings where we will reach a new state of um, power, personal power. Okay, let's go ahead and take the Zodiac 108. Let's find out what the Zodiac 108 has to say. Um, this usually just takes me a little bit deeper into the reading. It's a lot of cards here, so give me a minute here. I'm going to just give it a quick shuffle. Um, yeah, we're, you know, the whole thing about the balance, we're balancing right now the old way and the new way. And we're making very clear boundaries. As things come up, we're going, eh, no, that's not working anymore for me. <laughs> and, and we can't help it. It, it's like it's it's something that's forced it, it's it's like the stars are requiring us to say no this doesn't fit and that does help us create boundaries all right we got the diamond and we got an eclipse oh wow we'll see we got that we've got that full moon eclipse coming um we've got an event inventor thunderstorms Oh, we've got some really powerful dynamic cards here. Oh, and we've got some adventure. All right, hang on. We'll just pull a couple more. See, okay, well, I think that that will do it. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is interesting. We did get a happening now card, and I'm just going to go in and into it some of this stuff here. Yeah, into it. That's where we get the name from. Into it. All right, I'm definitely taking that diamond card, like, for... This is really powerful stuff. Okay. The first thing that I want to put, this I saw later. I'm not going to do happening now on that. First, we've got the diamond. Okay. The diamond to me, and, and the second thing I saw was yacht. <laughs> okay. So we're talking about, we are now moving into a much more prosperous um, and creative period of time. So there is a definite commitment and we talked about commitments that you're making to yourself um that it, what you're doing is with the diamonds you're becoming more multi-dimensional and multifaceted, and that is going to contribute significantly to whatever the spiritual life purpose you're talking about and the yacht symbolizes smooth sailing okay prosperous comfortable this is you know we're moving into a better day-to-day -day life remember with Sagittarius we're going to be starting to look at new ways for lifestyle and things of that nature so we're definitely talking yacht and diamond for that now it's interesting I saw two things come up at the same time or closely and that's the inventor and the repairman 
Okay, and I and I find that really interesting because the inventor innovates new ideas and the repairman fine tunes those ideas is what I'm getting. So I have a feeling that as far as, now we're looking at, for you, we are looking at new relationships, new ways about how you feel about yourself, your career, other people, your home, your security, your life in general. So you're really starting to reimagine you're reimagining all of these areas from a different perspective of self. And you're making adjustments. The repairman is kind of making adjustments to whatever it is you're innovating. Some of you may actually really be innovating, like in your spiritual career, um, whatever, well, whatever your career is, but starting to innovate, take things up a notch, take things to higher levels and innovate, be, um, uh, trial and error on new ways to do things because you're trying to introduce, say, a new way of what you used to present, if that makes sense. And then the repairman saying, you're making the, you're making things right, you're mending what hasn't been working, you're restoring what, what needs to be restored, and look at the word right there is upgrade. Okay, so this, this kind of stuff I feel has to do with everything that you love, right? And you're in the process of innovating and upgrading it and fine-tuning it. Now, two cards that came, well, actually there's three cards, okay? First of all, the eclipse, okay? We know we've got an eclipse coming. This eclipse is going to have significant, significant impacts. Um, I probably am gonna do a video specifically about the impact of this new mooner, uh, uh, new mooner full moon lunar eclipse. Um, but what we're talking about here is the union of opposites. Uh, this is that balancing, right? We got the balancing, what you're working on, right? Moving into balance, transforming, um, merging into a new aspect of yourself, transforming. So we've got this transformative energy. And it may have the power of a thunderstorm, okay? It may have the power of the thunderstorm. Um, a lot of energy uh, may seem a little bit out of control, may put you a little bit of a conflict, but it is your time to triumph over, um, and I wanna say corset. Triumph over the corset. The corset is that which brings, um, well, it's the boundaries. Isn't that interesting that boundaries comes up during the Pluto, you know, cord cutting uh, boundary season. That's what its power is, 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 you know, boundaries. So here we have got things that have been held together. There, it's restriction. It's, I wanna say it's, uh, what, Saturn energy? Isn't that Saturn? Yeah, the restriction. Um, you know, it's that perfect posture. It's holding it together. It's kind of like the thunderstorm comes in and the and it's like, yeah, okay, well, the thunderstorm's coming in and it's going to be like, ba-boom, <laughs> a little bit um, uh, maybe shaking up that perfectly, um, perfect posture, perfect way of being. Um, but what's really cool is, is you've got the bonfire. And I believe that that storm is what's getting things going, okay? It, it is moving you towards the energy and the enthusiasm of this new spiritual story. The new spiritual story has a great deal of energy and spark and community and organizing, um, sharing of ideas, powerful, powerful um, <clears throat> energies. So let me see here. And, and it's interesting is that the happening now popped out. Okay, I want to say that that is just a confirmation that this period of time for um, you, Cancer in particular, that this, this is what we're dealing with here. We are literally dealing with the shift of the season. The shift. This is going to change everything. And... Uh, the last thing that I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I can fit all these cards on the table so that you can see them all. Um, 
What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull some cards from Marla Kelly's Twin Flame Oracle, and she happens to be a Cancer. So Marla, if you're listening to this, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> Obviously, now I'm really thinking of you because I'm using your deck. So the way I use the Twin Flame Oracle in a reading like this is some of it may have to do with relationships and listen. Cancer, we're talking to you about love and then redefining all of the things that you love, which may include Twin Flame or it might include soulmates or partners. So I'm not going to limit this reading just to the higher self. But a lot of times, because we're really taking a look at you right now and where you're going spiritually, I'm going to see how much of this pertains to a higher self message from you. And uh, Marla was really good at, at helping me kind of translate how some of this stuff can actually be seen from that um, higher perspective, not just from a partner. All right, so it looks like we got quite a few cards. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Just gonna reveal them one at a time. All right. Okay, so this is saying as twin flames, we are here to ascend and help others to do the same. What I'd like to say is in the context of this reading that we're really talking about the twin flame energy within us, all right? And we are here to help other people ascend. In order to do that, we have to embody our highest spiritual story. And so obviously, if you're listening to this, you're doing that. You wouldn't be listening to this because it, unless you are focused on your soul expansion, you know, I'm not telling you who you're going to marry tomorrow. I'm telling you about a spiritual story shift. So you're definitely going to um, be acknowledging that that is part of what you're doing. Um, mission is to be unconditional love. Well, what are we talking about? We're talking about your new spiritual story being you in a unconditional love situation with yourself, trusting yourself. And so clearing out the programming is what you've been working on this whole time. It's necessary to opening up parts of our heart so that we can be the most loving that we can be and we can make the changes that we need to around love in all the different areas of our life, right? Well, there is a lesson to be learned from this, obviously. And uh, if I were to, to guess, you know, everyone's gonna have their own situation, but the lesson that comes to me is that basically, Without moving forward into that higher spiritual self, we really, um, not only do we hold back the others around us, but we severely limit our capabilities of what we can create in the new reality, which is why this is such an important, important period of time. All right. Um, the next card that I got was the situation is being caused by both of us. Look at your own role in the situation to help us change it. So in this particular case, I mean, this is the balance between the higher you, the higher self that's trying to come in, right? And the smaller self, the different aspects of you. Um, and you have to realize at this point that your consciousness of the boundaries that you're drawing is literally going to bring about the change that you want to see. Um, I want to let down my guard with you, but fear makes me lash out in defense. All right, I want to take this to mean is that in your experiences right now, you may find yourself lashing out in self-defense because you have literally put up new boundaries. And though this is a timeless reading, in this particular point in time, Mars is now in, as part of this transit, which the ego is gonna give you a little bit more oomph to self-defense. And while cancers tend to keep a nice, mm, I wanna say shell protection, um, you know, in speaking up to defend yourself, you may find yourself doing that just a little bit more than you would normally. And finally, words have hurt me in the past and that's why I fear talking to you. Let's see. 
This seems a little bit more relationship oriented, but let me think about this. Words have hurt me in the past. Okay, um, the self-talk that we have that we don't realize that we have been using on ourselves, part of boundaries is to say, stop doing that. Stop talking to yourself that way. Because we think, oh, other people are the ones that hurt us, but we don't realize so many times it's the words that we say to ourselves that creates that big pain. So in order to open our hearts up, we have to be the ones to stop. Um, you know, we need to watch what we're saying to ourselves, right? Okay, now if I can find it, the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna pull an Ascended MasterCard, uh, Ascended MasterCard, it sounds like it's some kind of financial, um, some kind of financial thing. No. Um, I look at Ascended Masters, I, I just want you to be aware, there are there are Ascended Masters in the dark world too, I found out, so I'm, I'm quite careful about making sure that, you know, that I am referring to um, helpers. I don't believe that Ascended Masters are people, I wouldn't pray to an Ascended Master personally, but what I would do is think of them as you know, a great spiritual friend that has an understanding of some of the things in this dimension. Like in other words, they've got experience getting out of this dimension and moving into higher frequencies, most of them. Or they're set here as teachers to help us. Um, so anyways, it's just my explanation here of Ascended Master. Freedom, <laughs> freedom's always my favorite one. All right, let me see here. Do I have anything specifically that I want to, I don't think that I even have that book right there. But what I wanna say, all right, this is, I wanna say Hina, could be Hina, but I think it's Hina, all right? Look at this beautiful, beautiful image of what we all would love is just to be able to, I wanna say bask in a huge, beautiful full moon, right, and it looks definitely like Hawaii or things of that nature, and be in that space of complete spiritual integrity and love and self-trust. Um, self-trust brings with it so much freedom because how can we be free if we're always putting ourselves in a box? And cancer does by nature put the shell around for the protection. And, and though that's still part of the nature, the, the self-trust aspect that we're getting during this transit and into the new spiritual story is going to allow you to have a little bit of leeway when it comes to that. You'll be a little bit more trusting of saying what you wanna say when you say it not being as defensive as you might normally feel might come out defensively because you you know burst out saying it that's kind of like that mars energy but when you move into the new spiritual story that's what you're going to end up seeing so um let me see if there's any last things that i can see here i see a lot of really positive energy a lot of powerful cards here i absolutely love the um the yacht and the, the diamond energy. I love the bonfire energy. Um, the stepping stones is so clear that this is you heading into a new place where you will end up in this complete um, elephant energy. Uh, things are happening right now that are literally helping you to firm up boundaries that you need to have and also allow people in, let things in that need to come in. Um, the messages from higher self are all very encouraging for you to um, see this period of time as critical, absolutely critical to um, creating new earth. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me for this reading. Uh, I will be back again with another video real soon. If you like this, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you could share it with a friend or just subscribe to the channel, whether you decide to hit the notification bell or not is fine. Every time that you like the video or share it or um, 
and as a subscriber, YouTube will start showing my videos. And as you can tell, What I New Earth is kind of a new channel. I could always use a little help getting that up there. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, namaste. Bye. Thank you.